one pitch, like a clarinet, a sing single read. The chatter that you play the melody on has a double read, like an oboe or bassoon, so it's a lot louder. And the blowpipe has a valve on, on the bottom, so you blow air into the bag, inflate the bag, and all, five, all four of these pipes work off the same air in the bag. And you provide the pressure uh, from your lungs, and then when you take a breath, you squeeze the bag. Uh, oh, so you, keep the, so you keep the air going yeah. constantly. There's never, there's never a stop of tone. It's cool. It's a lot to coordinate. It's a lot to coordinate. Yeah. It took me a long time to learn yeah. it. Like and there, there are only two thing. instruments that allow you to play a continuous note for more than a minute. Oregon and bagpipes? Right. <laughs> what about harmonica? No? You, you got to be long-winded for that. <laughs> Sometime. And string instruments, of course. Oh, they, we don't count. Well, originally, they were what, a sheep's bladder? Originally, this was a sheep's bladder. Sure. Wow. Now we have. Uh, a sheep's stomach. No, actually, it's uh, Gore Tex. Yeah. Like they make tents out of the waterproof clothing. Is that a Gore Tex sheep? It's a Gore Tex sheep. <laughs> yep. We'll so make a million. It's even got a zipper in it, so you can fix them easy. <laughs> and, and how much is a set of pipes like that? Like you have. Like this, if I were to try to buy these today, it'd be about four thousand wow. dollars. I paid about two thousand when I bought them. And you said you've been using them fifteen. 15 years. I got the fire department bought them for you. No, they bought me an old cheapo set. Oh. <laughs> I passed them on to to another piper, a younger piper. So this would be what you call a Stradivarius bagpipe? <laughs> oh, absolutely. It's made. It was made by a, a guy named Willie McTaggart. He made all the pipes for the Toronto Police Pipe Band, and uh, he only made six sets a year. And his son was a silversmith who does all the silver work, saw hand engraved silver. Wow. And they used to be real ivory, but you can't get real ivory anymore. Do you well, not, uh, not check them underneath the airplane, or do you carry it on? I carry it on. Okay. So yeah. you don't trust the do you get a separate seat for it? No, no. It fits up. If I squeeze the pipes down, it fits right in a small suitcase. But when I went through the x-ray, the TSA guy looked at it. <laughs> said, this looks like uh, burnout fluorescent light bulbs in here. I said, no, it's a set of bagpipes. Let me show you. So open that up. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I heard on, uh, I guess it was NPR, they were talking about that the main bagpipe repairman was in Pakistan or somewhere. Well, they make a lot of sets of pipes in Pakistan. Yeah, they're vastly inferior to Scottish, Canadian, or American sets. Well, yeah. yeah. And they're real cheap. You can buy a set for two, three hundred dollars. Uh, they're virtually unplayable. So is that, uh, is that what you got, Doc? Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, Actually, I have, uh, Sri, I have Sri Lankan uh, bagpipes. Oh, those are the good kind. I don't know if John's are virtually unplayable, but they are virtually played. <laughs> 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 hey, it takes time to get into that kind of thing. <laughs>